go, great job, Caleb. I do love that uh, the craziest thing that happened was you ate too much pizza, you had to vomit a little bit, and by concert standards, that's a very PG event. Well, what's not PG? Running naked. Now, I had a chance, this isn't a concert, but I went to go. I went to City Field to go watch uh, the New York Mets play back in the day. And I had a chance to see a streaker. And it was one of the single greatest moments of my life. The Mets sucked. They still suck. And they will probably suck for the foreseeable future. However, this streaker was so good and so fast. And the security guard that chased after him, complete and utter shock, really overmatched. But he did end up tackling him. And this man's penis must still have rug burn because, my God, you could hear the shriek as he slid across the outfield and, uh, without a doubt, came away with a probably shorter cock. But let's go to Sherry in South Oregon. You see there was a naked dude who uh, kind of went crazy. Hi, Ben. Hi, Sherry. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I've got a story. This actually made national news, so oh, you can look this article up. Sweet. Um, it was 2014, and I was working at the, we used to have the Hemp Expo down here in Southern Oregon, and it was a musical festival that was cannabis friendly and all this. And right. uh, so it was, it was my night off. I usually work the first aid booth and um, I was kind of hanging out by our booth. Oh and my I, God. Was this, in, was, was this in Grants Pass, Oregon? Yeah, very close to it. Yes. Oh right my outside. God. The, the mug shot of this man, to be honest, oh, he, so you've seen it. Well, I'm just looking at it now. Tim, Timfy Soy, it seems like his last name is. And uh, we have yeah. the same hair. And I'm, uh, wow. Okay. He does look like he is straight out of Noah's Ark or like an exhibit <laughs> on Neanderthal males. Yes, I was going to tell you if you want to look it up, the mugshot's great, but it looks it's like you already did that. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, I'm hanging out by the booth and I see this guy, you know, he's kind of jumping up and down, looking like he's having a little too much fun. And, uh, right. His pants start coming down, and I have uh -oh. my fourteen-year-old daughter there, and I'm trying to shield her, and I'm like, "Oh, oh don't look, don't look!" And he, he pulls his <laughs> pants back up. I'm like, "Okay, okay," and then I'm like, "No, no, no, turn around," because they came all the way down. Oh no! And uh, he's jumping around. You can see, uh, you know, everything. The ding dong and, is uh, going up and down with the music, oh, keeping yeah. beat. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he was keeping beat at that point, but, you know. <laughs> um, so anyways, he, you know, he kind of goes and, you know, not worrying about it too much. And then uh, I have a friend that he usually wears a big chicken costume. Yeah. And all of a sudden I see him running past the booth and this guy now completely naked. <laughs> uh, except for he, he had his boots on, which I can't figure out how he got his pants over him. But, you well, know, that is interesting. Yeah. They, they must have um, been bell bottoms going, or something. Uh, yeah, he's yelling, uh, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to fuck you, I'm going to kill you, then I'm going to fuck you. And Wait like, a wow, second, now, what are we, we're getting into necrophilia here? Come on, at least, uh, I know, right? Yeah. And do so it the other I'm way like, around, well, okay. I guess. Okay. Yeah, and so I had a, a friend, some friends of mine, had, they ended up having to tackle him in the parking lot. I guess he was, like, running into vehicles or trying to beat up vehicles and all this stuff. Yes, and, uh, well, ap apparently he was smashing cars, he was starting fights, and he attempted to attack some police officers. Wow, this guy was definitely not on marijuana. He was. Uh, he thought he was at a crystal meth event. Definitely from the look of him, I don't think that this man's brain has ever recovered. So your friends in this case, they had to tackle a fully naked man. How was the, that experience for them? Is Are they permanently scarred? Um, no, luckily one of my friends was a bouncer in the past, and mm. so he knew how to take somebody out and hold them down safely, you know, until the cops came there. And they were much more rough with him after that. And then the ambulance <laughs> came and sedated him and... Um, yeah, I guess he just took way too many hallucinogens is what we heard because, yeah, the yeah. mugshot is very unforgiving. The mugshot is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, just search uh, Naked Dude uh, Hemp Festival and you'll be able to find it. Well, what a what a night for that guy. That's a tough morning, I'll tell you that. Well, thank you so much for calling in, Cherry. I appreciate you and I appreciate your friends. Yeah, according to uh, the article, according to the article, Tim Timothy A. Sirks, it's S-E-A-U-X, uh, he was kicking and fighting. Even when he got into the patrol car, he was sedated. He was jailed on charges of criminal mischief, menacing, assaulting an officer, and resisting arrest. So, the first responders at the scene, quote, were led to a parking lot in a grass field where four men were restraining a naked, agitated male on the ground. Which I guess is a good reminder to always have rubber gloves on you. Because you never know when someone's going to be tripping bulls and you're going to have to take them down. What a frickin' day. All right, well, let's go to... Uh